Hey guys! Hey guys! <laughs> so we are on top of Ta'al Mountain, volcano in fact. So um, there's an island, in a lake, in a volcano, in a lake, in a mountain, on an island. Yeah, well, the last time in the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. Second most active volcano in the Philippines. It's uh, 5 a.m. The sun's starting to rise. We're there in the distance. It's one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world, and we can't find our person. Yes, and our driver our is not here. So, our driver slept in. He was very sorry. He was very sorry, but we ended up having to text him and say we're going to take someone else. So we uh, frantically, frantically hoping against all hope that we still make it there on time. Yeah, so we're uh, with another lovely driver who pulled up and asked if we needed assistance. We did. Um, we did. <laughs> and we're now heading down the mountain. We were told the road was really bad. It's actually pretty alright. It's very bendy. Nice. It's very bendy. Uh, lots of orange landslide warning. <laughs> but not too terrible. But uh, I am not concerned. Yeah. So heading down now. Hopefully we'll be there before the boat leaves for our tour. Well, hopefully we find our family. Yeah, I've asked them to share a location with us so we can see them. We got a notification. And, um, hopefully that's there. Yeah, we'll be there soon, and it'll all work out. Yeah, one can hope. That they live said to meet them here, but I can't see them. We found them! Yay! All right. So after much wandering around. We actually beat them <laughs> and that's why we couldn't find them. <laughs> but anyway, we have now found each other. We will be heading off shortly, I believe. It's important to be sunset. Lobster is not a good colour on me. <laughs> and there's nothing healthy about it here. Hey guys, so we are in Talisai and we are going over to Ta'al Volcano, which is over there. This is the volcano. of everyone since 2012. I'm on a boat. <laughs> Confidence in my ability to walk up a mountain and survive. It's four and a half k walk, and apparently I will die. So I get a wonderful steed that's gonna you know, help me get there in one piece. There ain't a horse big enough here for me. No, probably not. You might kill the horse. Look at this little thing. This is the steam coming out of the side of the volcano. It's uh, warm enough to cook an egg. During the wet season, it's a lot more obvious because there's moisture on the rock and you can smell the sulfur in the air and see it on the ground. It's very interesting. So we made it. It's such a unique topography. A lot of people choose to walk up. Most of our group came up by a horse. And what did you think? <laughs> Was tired. <laughs> Is that your first time on a horse? Yes. Okay. Wait. Wait. Uh, how was your first time? Oh my god. I don't want to ride a horse again. <laughs> nah, ever. But I will come back here. 
Not <laughs> speechless. Have you got Ines thoughts? And Mitch came up by our, his own legs. Thoughts? Uh, yeah, this is that final last 100 meters. It's a bit hard. It's very steep there. The calves are a bit tight, but other than that, I'm good. Kind of broke the tour guide though. Mm -hmm. She uh, wasn't used to the pace, I don't think, <laughs> that I managed to maintain. Yeah, other than that, it's fine. In the shade, you can actually see across the ground the heat shimmers that you get from the sky. I don't know what that's called, but you can see the heat. We we're talking before about the fact that it's hot, but it's interesting because you're getting heat coming up from the ground, and then every now and then you get a nice cool breeze, but then you get a warm breeze, but you've also got that sun beating down as well. So it's just all around you is just heat, yeah. um, which is really, I guess, unique. Other than when you're in Manila and then you've just got heat from jeepneys all around you along with smog. Uh, but it's a different heat. It's a natural heat. If you, for some reason, forgot that you were standing in the middle of a volcano. The smell and the heat will remind you. I'm on top of a volcano. Not something I ever said that I'd really do. <laughs> and it's a really unique one. There's the only place in the world where, again, you've got island, mountain, lake, island, mountain, lake, island. Uh, so apparently the water down the bottom just here is like nearly 100 degrees. It's boiling all the time. You can see all the salt and the sulfur and stuff along the shore where it's all kind of um, evaporating off it's really awesome getting up here I think the horses were 500 pesos each walking up I don't think I had to pay anything though I'm sure the guide's gonna cost some money she wasn't used to going as fast as I am able to go clearly <laughs> she uh, she got to the top and <laughs> collapsed a little I'm feeling all right so you know I, I exercise semi regularly and I got up here all right so I wouldn't be too scared of it it's about 4 k's apparently and 300 meters of elevation to get to the top when you get up I at least was asked if I wanted to get buy a bottle of water or a Gatorade or something for my guide on everything is like that little extra so to get over to this peak over here where you can just see some tourists over there um, I believe what we were told is that that's an extra 50 pesos but there's no guardrail so you get like an unobstructed view but you can't go down you just get, are more likely to fall into a volcano so Mitch is already gone like he's just like boom I think his whole goal is to get down before us uh, at this rate he's definitely gonna do so Ina and I are just like trying not to fall down the stairs it's like our whole goal